What's up everyone, TGA19 here, and today we're going to be bringing you my review of the Uncharted 4 multiplayer open beta stress test. Now, of course, the stress test ended today on Monday. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play it today because, unfortunately, as you all know, I was at school, and uh, by the time I got back, the beta had already ended, unfortunately, so no, I wasn't able to play it last minute. But luckily, I did play a bit of it on Monday and uh, Sunday because, of course, on Saturday I was just way too busy and I couldn't play it then. I will admit, I probably didn't play as much of the beta as I originally thought I was going to do so, but I'm still happy with what I played. I mean, I've definitely got enough gameplay at least to make, you know, this video, and also just to speak my opinions about it. And to be honest with you, this open beta really isn't much different to the closed beta we got in December, apart from a, a new map and a few new additions in, to, you know, bounce out the guns and several other mechanics. But apart from that, really, there's nothing else massively different, but... You know, first of all, I'm going to talk about, you know, the new map. Uh, and the new map that we get in this one is, of course, Rooftops. And it appears to be set, you know, somewhere in Italy. I have no clue, to be honest with you. This is just me guessing off, off the top of my head now. But I'm, it's, we have that map that was included. And I've got to say, I actually did really enjoy that map. I didn't like it at first because I found it to be a bit, you know, small and, you know, close quarter. And it was quite imbalanced most of the time. But then I also began to play on it a lot more. I actually began to enjoy it a lot. I'd probably say it's still uh, my second favourite map because my fa it, in order of ranking from worst to best, it'd probably have to go Madagascar City, but that's only because I find it the most basic. Um, rooftops, because I quite like that one now because, you know, of the many different areas, you know, that you can have fights. Because my problem with the Uncharted 3 multiplayer is that there are so, in, in the most of the maps, there was literally just one area where you would constantly be fighting. But you know, in Uncharted 4, I feel like there's so many other multiple areas that you can have fights on, and Rooftops is one of those maps where you can just have so many fights, and it's in different areas, and it's really, really fun to play on, and it's a really fun map, but still my favourite one is definitely Island. I mean, the amount of rope swinging areas, and just the design of it, I just love that map so much. It's by far my favourite map. Um, but the, the new map was very, very good. It's not as rope swing based, Probably has the least amount of rope swinging out of the three maps, but I still very much enjoyed it. I like the design of it, with the fact that obviously you're on top of the uh, rooftops, but it gives like this really nice little verticality to the actual, you know, map itself, and I found it to be very, very fun to play on. You know, just it because actually, to be honest with you, this is probably the map that I spent the most time on. And in fact, I think I probably spent over half the game times that I had on the beta, like half, half my games were probably on this map because it was that popular and for some dumb reason by the game servers and I have no idea why but I'm not complaining because I quite enjoyed the map. Uh, I mean there are also some uh, of the new weapons were of course definitely 100% nerfed in the closed beta. For example the Metler which at one point was unstoppable in the closed beta. They did pack that a little bit but I did find that to still be effective. I mean as you can see in the gameplay right now, it's the weapon that I'm currently using. I actually did start to get a lot better with the Metler as I went on with the multiplayer. Um, so, I mean, there are definitely some weapons that have been nerfed, but they haven't been nerfed to the point where they're useless. I think they've just been nerfed to the point where you actually have to have skill in order to be able to use them, which is, I think, what they should do. I mean, if a weapon is too overpowered, you don't make it so that nobody will ever use it, but just make it so they actually require skill to use. Because, of course, the Metler got... Um, patched. The AK-47 I'm sure did get patched midway through the beta um, and I know that quite a few of the weapons did. I have to say that they did actually quite feel quite a lot different the weapons did. The only one weapon however in game that I just did not enjoy was the shotgun and I can't remember what it's called you know the proper name for it but I will say Naughty Dog why the hell did you not patch that thing? I mean it's so freaking overpowered. Two shots at like middle range. It's you know, it's given me memories now of the tactical shotgun from The Last of Us, and trust me, I don't want those memories. That was a horrible weapon because it was way too overpowered. But, I mean, that's a separate game. But, um, it's just in itself, I did find that that gun was a bit overpowered. And then also, I did find the Metler, you know, towards the end of the beta to get a bit overpowered in the right person's hand. But I still felt it was a weapon that required skill. Because, I mean, when I first used it, I absolutely sucked with the Metler. But now, you know, of course, I started to get a, bit, a lot better with it. But yeah, of course, in terms of weapons, not really much has changed. 
Uh, but I really, nothing much has changed since the beta, to be honest with you. I mean, there's nothing really that special to talk about. I mean, the guns all feel great. The 60 frames per second is really, really nice. Of course, the game does run at 900p as a cost, but I would much rather have 900p and 60fps as opposed to having, you know, 1080p and 30 frames per second, because 60 frames per second in a multiplayer is pretty much mandatory. You cannot make a multiplayer game these days running 30 frames per second. So, I mean... It's very good that, you know, they decided to downgrade the game because, you know, 60 frames per second is just so good in this game and, you know, it definitely improves the experience when you also consider the fact that so many other multiplayer games these days are now running at 60. Um, but really not that much different from the closed beta. And I'll, you know, get on to the criticisms. I did feel that, the, of course, the, you know, the shotgun was very overpowered in-game. Um, I also didn't like the fact that, you know, the matchmaking was terrible. It would take me way too long to find matches, sometimes like five minutes to find a match. When you compare it to COD where you can find a match in like two seconds, yeah, it definitely wasn't very good. Um, also, they had quite a lot of difficulties at launch. I literally couldn't find a game for the first like three quarters of an hour that the multiplayer beta was on. But luckily Naughty Dog did patch this and improve it. But then also there was a weird bug on slash glitch that was on mine, which was basically that whenever I shut... Whenever I turned off, you know, the game and uh, re 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 went back on it again, literally, my level would get set back to 1, and I have no idea why on earth this happened. Uh, I don't know if this happened to anyone else, so if it has, please let me know in the comments, but literally, I would just keep on getting set back to level 1, and it basically meant that I couldn't make loadouts with um, the higher level guns, such as, you know, the sniper rifle, the shotgun, and the HS39, you know, in terms of custom loadouts, that definitely annoyed me. Uh, and also probably the probably my biggest complaint with the multiplayer, and also kind of like a more personal one, is just the fact that unfortunately Har Harry Flynn, one of the playable villains in the game, is not voiced by Steve Valentine. I mean, I'm sorry, but Naughty Dog, I don't care what excuse you gave me, but come on, he you have to have Steve Valentine as Harry Flynn in this game. I mean, look at the amount of fans that are already complaining at the fact that he's not in the game. I mean, there's even petitions online to like have him in the game and in fact there's even a petition online i'm pretty sure i saw one time where it was for people who were threatening to boycott buying uncharted 4 because of the fact he's not in it i mean that is showing you the fan base of how popular this character is and you're just simply not going to include him in this game it's, it really really annoys me because he probably is my favorite uncharted villain and the fact that you're not going to include him is very stupid in my opinion i don't care what excuse you, you know you give us it, it really annoys me because he's even my favorite villain and the fact that he's going to be voiced by someone completely different, who in this beta does an absolutely terrible job, you know, in his lines. I mean, what on earth would Steve Valentine as Harry Flynn ever say, bags of skill here, bags? Like, when what earth would he say that? It's ridiculously stupid. I just hope that Naughty Dog do, you know, get Steve Valentine's old lines from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 multiplayer and then put them in the final game because I don't want that guy voicing Harry Flynn. He just is not Harry Flynn. But with that all being said, uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. And then I mean, the Uncharted 4 open beta it wasn't really different, to the, very different to the closed beta, but I still very much enjoyed it. It was very good, and I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait now, you know, to get Uncharted 4 and play a bit of the multiplayer flat game. But of course, you know, let me know in the comment section below what you felt of the Uncharted 4 multiplayer open beta. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again.